Hello, I'm David Wormsey. In this video, I'm going to be making things sticky in Beaver Builder. And to explain this, I have an example. This is often requested and it's to be able to have columns as I've got here with just the number one stick in place or float in place while the content on the right or the left moves. And you can see this with my number two column over here and number three. We can also use the same technique just to make content within a column stick as I'm doing with this heading module. We could also use it and get a bit fancy with some animation and create this kind of effect and other kinds of effects. It will work with child columns and we can even do, as we can see on the bottom, have this hide and reveal sticky footer. Okay, so that's what I'm talking about. Now I had a few doubts as to whether to include this in my Beaver Junction plugin, which is a collection of working templates, partly because there was a solution out there, thanks to Tom Carlos, who is at sitespot.dev, they used to be called beaver.team, that's their new name, and they created that plugin. I'm not sure how his works, it might be working with JavaScript, but mine is actually using CSS. Now the other reason for wondering whether to include it is that the CSS itself is so very basic. Let me just quickly show you. There it is. Now you can call this whatever you like, but as long as it's got positions sticky in there, something for Safari and, and it's positioned somewhere, it's going to work. You just need to make sure that you, whatever you call this, you reference that in the advanced tab under your class selector for your module column or your rows, and it's going to work. But there are a few little gotchas working with the Beaver Builder editor when you're changing positioning. So they fooled me a few times and I know other people have had some difficulty. So it seemed worthwhile making a working template. Before I show you that, let me just quickly mention where you might want to use this. So I'm using it on this site itself under the templates. So I've got a kind of floating sidebar of my filters here for the different templates. And it was really particularly handy for a summer project. So I help with a cheese shop, a WooCommerce shop, and they wanted, because of COVID-19, to be able to do local deliveries of some basic farm provisions, which they had. And they wanted it to be a quick form. So I was able to just create this with a short code, which just has the floating basket. So anyone can quickly go through this and order much quicker than they would do through the normal method. While I'm here, I just want to say a quick thanks to the people behind the modules which I use, which allow me to have this different sections of provisions and really cut down to make easy. And that was um, Woopack. I've used theirs and they were really helpful. They helped me with a, a small problem that I had while I was working on this project and they also do power pack they're at wpbeaveradons.com the team behind it are called idea box anyway i just wanted to say a thank you to them let me move on with my example so i'm coming over to my demo site which has got the light version of beaver builder obviously my plugin is installed it is a row template so i'll go over to my rows go over to custom rows this is alphabetical so there we are sticky columns and I'll just quickly talk you through this so as it is a column sorry as it is a row template I put the CSS under the advanced section here so that's it I'll just quickly cover the things here so uh, sticky position it's not going to work on Internet Explorer and Edge 15 and below but still I don't think there's many people with that still so it's pretty good coverage for it you do need this extra one for Safari at the moment. And as I put in my note here, you do need to make sure to make it work that there is a position. It could just be zero, but it has to be top, bottom, left or right. I mentioned the footer here, but there is a big gotcha with this sticky footer. To make it work, we're just referencing the footer, which is the theme or in Thema in my case to make it work. But we're using Z index to take the position behind so the content reveals over the top of it. The problem is with using Z index that way is that it stops you being able to get to any of the links to click on those links. So if your footer contains links, which most probably do, it's not going to be much use. You probably need to use a JavaScript solution if you want that same kind of effect. But it's there in case you did want to use it. And obviously you can just 
copy and paste that to the CSS wherever you like. Right, what I wanted to mention here was referencing the CSS selectors in your elements on the page here. This is where there are a few gotchas. So if you've got this column where I'm putting in the sticky reference, you can't get to it if it's been reduced like this. Once we get down to this drop down menu, you can see, you can see automatically here that it's a little bit uh, see through. So it's played up with this and you just can't get to it. But just know if you move it out to the full view, this is just for columns, then you can get to the column settings. And there we are. That's why I placed it under CS, um, CSS class. So that's one of the little things, because obviously it's messing around with the interface here. I haven't found a, a neat way of being able to exclude that. And we have the same issue as well here. If you were wondering, by the way, about how these came in earlier, it's, I'm just using the advanced tab animation settings that are in Beaver Builder just to add a little bit of effect to it. Let me just go over to this section. So again, we can use this. I've got a column here with some background on it. I've got an image here and I've made this sticky. Again, I can get to this to put in sticky, no problem. What I can't do is to get into my column from here because it's sticky. That particular module is sticky. Fortunately, I've got this one and it's not sticky. So I can just, oops, I didn't mean to duplicate that. Let me just go in. I can go into my column settings from there. Let me just get rid of this. Okay, so it's just something to be aware of. You might need to keep something non-sticky there. You could probably just put in a HTML module, which people are just not going to see uh, from the front end, but you'll be able to access it and you won't have sticky on it in case all of your content's there. And you can see the effect here without the animation. It's just that. You could do some very nice things with this if you've got full row images that are going across. I haven't got it on this because I'm not using rows, but if you do, you can make them all sticky and they can just appear one at a time. Okay, and the same here with the class, uh, sorry, with the column, child columns. We've got child columns here. Again, because it's sticky, I can't get to it there but I can get to it on this one. And what you do need to make sure is if you've got this arrangement with child columns that you've gone in and you selected equal heights to yes here to make sure that this is going to work there. And that is pretty much it. I hope that was useful. If it was then, please give me a thumbs up on YouTube because it helps me and consider subscribing to the channel. I hope to see you again on another video. Thanks for your time. Bye-bye.